people have asked why Ben needed a trait and um, why we decided that, oh, I decided that that was what we needed. Ben started abstracting back here um, and he did it even when we were in the hospital and with him like pulling his jaw back and down, there was no way we could get enough oxygen and break that obstruction up to get oxygen into his lungs. So um, he started doing this abstraction thing and he would desat to the 50s. And, um, and by this time he was already on the vent through his nose. And so we never saw his face. And um, he was always getting pink eye. Um, for some reason, even now that we aren't on the vent through our face, as you can tell, we still have issues um, with pink eye. Um, the trick has been very good because he always has an open airway. Um, we are getting ready to spend the next six to eight weeks at our local children's hospital. Operation Fine Superman's Nose is underway. Surgery great. We will spend the next seven days in ICU. The first night the, was rough. They were supposed to keep him knocked out, um, but the ICU hospitalist did not get that memo. So when our ENT came the next day, she talked to the hospitalist and they got everything worked out and they kept him comfortable and out of it for the next five days. On Thursday night was my epilepsy support group meeting, so we went and it was craft night. On day five, we started coming off the medication that was keeping him asleep, and he even got a bath. Are you sitting up, Lisa? Did you get out of the bed? Are you in your wheelchair? Are you doing great? Oh. You are doing great. <laughs> Look at that smile. <laughs> are you doing great? More. Do you want this? A week after surgery, Ben got moved to the regular floor. On the regular floor, Ben started speech therapy, OT, PT, and Amber and I started trait camp boot camp. It is a most of the time six week course because those things you have to do to pass um, so they feel comfortable with you going home. But we did it in record speed and we're out in three weeks. We were so excited to get home and figure out our new normal. This is Ben's monthly medical supply. <laughs> supposed to have your emergency bag. In your emergency bag you have your trach, which is your normal size trach, which is a 5.0. And then you have the step down trach, which for Ben is going to be a 4.5. You have scissors, you have a section, a manual suction down here. Manual suction's not in there. That's okay because we have a regular suction machine right here. And then an Ambu bag and um, a phone in case you need to call 911. Uh, this trike is still really new. He has a lot of good relation to shoot. And so we use the Mephilex AG padding. So we'll take that off and look at it. 
You can see his granulation tissue. Hi, Dan. Is it check change day? Yeah, it's check change day. So put it in the loop. Hi, Bubba. I know, you don't like check changes. But you are so brave. Are you a tough guy? Are you ready? So I always start off and I put this here just in case when I go to put it on a new trach. If it's stuck, it's ready to pop off. Anytime I touch it, even for a um, tie change, he starts doing this. It doesn't hurt him. He's just um, being dramatic. You do always want to make sure you're hooked up to the pulse off. And the opal box is right here. He's batting at 98. And his heart rate's 104. Probably because he's getting anxious because we're going to change his shake. Yeah, we're going to change your shake real fast, okay? Are you going to show them how brave you are? You're going to start by undoing one side. And then pull it through. Yeah. Are you ready? We're going to do it super fast. I know, Bubba. Good job. Good job. Yeah, can I plug you back in? Hi. Yay, Ben. Good job. So we're using this to clean his neck. So I just got a few scots on it. Unclean your neck now. The bus put over. Yes, so ah, I know, Baba. You make sure we get all around it. Make sure it dries. You don't want moisture there. Around his neck does look pretty good. You don't have any issues with. Any abrasions or anything? It's a little red, but nothing bad at all, huh? Yeah. You're so tough. You're so tough. So I just wait a few seconds, and then we're going to put the tie around his neck. Yeah. No. You get mad. Make sure all of his hairs out from under it. Eventually, I'm going to be able to stop putting his hair in a man bun to do this. So, anytime the trach is not attached, you want to keep two fingers on it because when he does that little coughing thing, that trach can shoot out. And that would not be good. So, notice I'm not just pulling this because that will um, cause the skin to break down. So you'll get that extra on this side and then you'll pull it from the side up and then pull it so it's not pulling our skin. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. This goes on for five minutes. So most of the time I put it on. And if it's not trait change day, then I'll give him his meds during this time. But I wanted to give his meds to him a little before, so he'll be more relaxed. But we see how that works. Can you look up? I'm gonna put this on. It's gonna be cold. But it's supposed to help. Oh, buddy. Which before we had this little cleaner, we had to clean it with it. So these five minutes, he didn't have it in him. 
so. I'm also talking he doesn't like this going on. Because you kind of have to pick up the trach a little bit to get it good and underneath. But he is snoring. He's so out of it. So we change his tray. We just have to put his t-shirt on, get his food set up, and he's ready for bed. But that bored him out. He says, Good night, friends. 